Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto E7 Power, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, obviously, you can see that this phone right here is locked, and I can unlock it either using the pattern that was previously used or using the Google account. Now, going back to the first one, which was the pattern, keep that in mind because this will be changed and it will be a significant part of the bypass. So, to get started, we're going to go back to the first page and start off by changing the language to oops, to any kind of language that uses a different keyboard. So, scroll all the way down and basically everything from this just the bottom upwards up to like Greek should work. That's what I'm going to select, Greek right here. And let's just progress to the setup. Now, if you're not sure what to press because you're using a different language, then you can follow whatever I'm pressing. So, select uh, no thanks right here, then I guess skip or whatever that was. And we get to the verification, so we're going to use the Google account instead. And once it brings up the field, to actually put in the Google account, I'm going to tap on it, it will bring up a keyboard, and from here you want to hold the globe icon. Now, additionally, if you don't see that globe icon, then go back to the uh, to the language selection and select a different different language, and get back to here. Now you do need that globe icon. So from here, uh, we're gonna select it straight off the bat to be back to QWERTY, and hold it again, and go to language settings right here, the text below that. And you wanna tap on the button at the bottom to add a keyboard. And from here, select any keyboard that has no arrow. So as you can see, there's a couple with an arrow on the side. You want to select ones without it. So one from here or here or here, doesn't really matter. Once you select one of them, click on the Add button, which is the blue button. And once you have added that keyboard, you can go back to the first page and change the language back to your desired one. And again, we're going to get back to the same page that we just were at. And again, tap on a field, hold the globe icon, go to language settings, add keyboard, and this time around, you're looking for option with an arrow. So there is one right over here. Select it, and then tap on the three dots, go to help and feedback, and, and describe your issue field. You want to type in just two, or two letters, M, O. And this will bring it up, uh, suggested option, use Morse code. So select it, tap on the video to load it up. It will give you another 3 that option on the video, so you want to click on it, and then select or watch later, which will open up our web browser. From here, select continue and then no thanks. And then right at the top, you want to navigate to hard reset.info slash bypass. Now I'm going to write it down. If you will need a moment to write to basically write it for yourself, then pause the video. So like so. So now would be the time to pause. Once you load up the site, you wanna scroll down to settings. Now it gives us this annoying trash, so I just consent. Scroll down and select settings application. This does open your literal settings application on the phone. And from here, you'll scroll down to security, and then select screen pinning, enable it, and then also make sure you enable the second option, which is lock device when unpinning. And what this allows you to do is set up a screen lock for your device. So. Uh, like I mentioned before, the pattern is a significant part of the process right here. Uh, so, as you remember, it was a pattern, so I'm going to select it to be something entirely different. I'm going to go with a pin instead this time. So, uh, right now we just get to set up our pin. So, I'm going to use a fairly simple one, one, two, three, four. Now, I would probably encourage you to use the same one. It's going to make it a little bit easier throughout the process. Uh, 
for the bypass when I'm basically inserting my pin, uh, you can insert the same one. So from here, I'm gonna tap on next and then repeat it to confirm that pin. So again, one, two, three, four, confirm, and now it's set. We don't actually need to set up a fingerprint, so I'm just gonna disregard it. And once you have added that pin, hold the power key, tap on restart, and let the device restart. And while it is restarting, I'm gonna quickly tell you what just happened. So by adding a pin right now, uh, what just happened is we overridden the pattern. Android can only keep one screen lock at a time, and if you add another one by some miracle, uh, it just removes the old one. Uh, it's completely gone, yeeted out of existence and substituted with the new one that we have just set up. So the device now thinks that the pin that we have just used is the old method to unlock the device. So from here we need to unlock the device. So one, two, three, four, pin that we have used. And we're gonna go through the setup right now. And we have a verify pin instead of a pattern right now. So, one, two, three, four, and it is now unlocked. Now, um, even though the device is right now unlocked, as you can see, we can skip signing into our Google account. Uh, I would still recommend you to perform a factory reset of the device through settings. So if you're interested in finding that out, uh, if you don't know where it is, I'm gonna finish up the setup and show you where that is. I'm not gonna go through it because it would just take unnecessary time uh, in the video because all it actually is, is just a factory reset of the device and then again, setup of it. Uh, the second setup that you would do after the factory reset will be completely free so you can do whatever you want, you can add Wi-Fi skip that and you don't need to verify anything. The device will be fully unlocked. So once you're on the home screen, after you completed the setup, you want to go into your settings application, scroll all the way down to system, reset options, choose erase all data factor reset, erase all data, Confirm the pin that we have set up, so one, two, three, four. Confirm it, and then choose Erase All Data. Once you click on that button after the pin, it will begin the process, the device will start resetting, and then once it's finished, you will be back in the setup screen and you can set it up however you like. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna go through it just for the time sake purpose. So anyway, that is how you bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.